one mum no Taku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the third episode of Flip Flappers. If you want to check out our reaction to the third episode of Flip Flappers, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section, because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga, and don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching! So, um, this episode of Flip Flappers actually left off where the last <laughs> one did, but it did not appear that way at first. Nope. <laughs> so it starts off with them going into pure illusion. And this time they go to some desert planet. Yeah, we open up on coconut wandering. Weird food. creatures. And... No, we end up. We start off with Papika, not coconut. Papika. Yep. Yeah. And Close she runs. Up. Yeah, she faints in the desert. Cliche scene, and uh, is picked up by totally not Jawas. And then they get Actually, ransacked by. Sorry, let me stop this right here. <laughs> Where did she get all those weird clothes? The desert clothes and the canteen. I know, right? She looked like she'd been wandering the desert for like 40 years or something. I, I, I was wondering, like, how long <laughs> were they in pure illusion this time? Long enough. Clearly. Hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Pavika basically... You know, cliche scene, she's wandering the desert, runs out of water, passes out, even though she totally could have sat in the shadow of that boat, and at least, you know. Or like, he, she could have probably just hopped in the boat. Either or, really. It would drop the temperature by a lot, but I wouldn't expect her to know that. She's a fucking moron. Right? Remember, your first mistake is taking this anime seriously. Exactly. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so she gets picked up by these weird desert midgets. Jawas. Uh, totally, Pretty much. Uh, no, totally not Jawas. You know, we don't want to get sued here. Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she gets taken back to the not Jawa village. Or actually, yeah, better. Uh, if we don't want to go that way, uh, we could go uh, and say she's taken back to the Temple of Yogurt. Right. Anyway, she's taken Watch back it, to the Not Jawa village. <laughs> and uh, she's chained up. Yeah, I can understand it. She's like three times in size and it can easily kick their asses. Right. Understandable. But uh, one of them ends up helping her, and then in the midst of helping her, of course, the village gets raided by. I can only describe all oh, uh, these raiders who are like part. Fists of the North Star villains meets Captain Harlock uh, meets Skeletor from He-Man and Mad Max. And Mad Max. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> they had a flying a flying ship that was powered by rowers. <laughs> a flying trireme. <sighs> Don't knock if it's awesome. It was. Oh my god. Um, anyway, we find out that uh, that sh that the, these raiders are being led by Kokona. Um, albeit in a mind-altered state and mind-controlled state. Actually, no, mind-altered. In an iron mask. The schoolgirl in the iron mask. Indeed. Yeah, it's not exactly mind controls because it's actually explained uh, by a villainess we actually meet that uh, it just amplifies latent feelings. So maybe she's just mind altered. Yeah. Either way, her and Papika have a fight, and oh Papika uses her head for once. Uh, 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 uh. It was it, it was mildly uh. effective. No, I mean, no, that was epically effective. effective. You see that crack? It just whoosh. that was cool. Yeah, basically, the the mask cracked in half and fell off. Yeah. Massive effect on target. Yeah, coconut was. Saved. Uh, anyway, then the 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 not Jawa that that helped Papika revealed herself to be the, a villain, the villain of the episode. Yet to be named. I have a feeling uh, we'll see her again. 
No, she died. She died. Never no, 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 no. She totally died. Yeah, she oh. totally died. Um, but it goes <laughs> into a flashback from when they first went into pure illusion here. And they got separated, and Kokona ended up in some Greek temple where she was having an orgy with a bunch of women. She the, ended up the, the villain was having an orgy with a bunch of women. Yeah, she ended up in the temple of the lesbian gimps. <laughs> yeah. The Temple of the Lesbian Gimps. That's what we're gonna title this episode. Our uh, our our, <laughs> our robotic our robot Oh, boo. Yeah. Of course he's excited. Extremely. So much so that he pretty much bends to this villainous as well. <laughs> for the whole episode. But yeah, so it's revealed that the villainous is the one who put the mask on, yep. on Kogana. And, and then... Epic, epic fight scene. Epic fight scene. Epic oh fight scene. God. They get their butts kicked. They eat a giant, giant sweet, sweet potato. potato. And then they both go Super Saiyan. And still, they both go magical girl. Ah, magical girl saying magical girl. Oh man! Oh, I just got a bad mental image. No, I have magical girl. I have the Saiyan. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> That's right. You are not going to escape the season without a PPAP joke. Deal with it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dumbest fucking thing ever. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't anyway, um, they don't actually defeat the villain. Nope. Instead, instead, they power down, and then they <laughs> they're about to get attacked by the villain again, and they end up getting saved by three members of a rival organization, rival two. Uh, to flip flap, yeah, rival to flip flap, which this is, one with a more serious I, name. Yeah, well, name, I don't know. Oh, but they maybe. were they were certainly worshiping a giant black, black dildo rod, rod dildo rod. It was totally a dildo. Anyway, this big <laughs> with thing wings. <laughs> I believe oh, I can fly. <laughs> anyway, this this thing was called a. a Asclepius? Asclepius. Asclepius. Anyway, this has it's revealed that the trio of power armored people, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so basically it's the magical, magical girls versus the Sentai. <laughs> That's yeah. basically what they are. I mean, they, they have they have suits that, that grant them they power. They have like powerful, yeah. Advanced technology versus yeah, magical girls. So magical girls versus Power Rangers. Let's do this. <laughs> I, I approve. It's revealed that the leader of the the trio of Power Rangers <laughs> is uh, Yayaka, which yeah, is Coconut's uh, friend. Coconut's friend, childhood friend. So yeah, that happened. That's awkward. It'll be interesting when they. Of meat in the real world. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, they take the crystal from the defeated villain and take it back to, to their place. Papika catches a glimpse of their place because she sticks her head through their portal. Ah, oh, there, there's your mind trip right there. This whole series is a mind trip. Oh, uh, but, but I mean, this is like the trippiest scene in the episode with Papika sticking her neck out. I don't Literally. know. I think the trippiest scene of this episode was that transformation. Transformation sequence. That seemed like a, tra a standard transformation scene, though. But every every transformation sequence is always trippy. Hmm. As fuck. I think the trippiest scene in here was the temple of the lesbian gimps. That was pretty trippy. That was really trippy. I I just have Kogan or uh, yeah, um, Poppy Cat's head because it kind of reminded me of the abyss. Mm, yeah. yeah. Anyway, what do what do y'all think uh, was the trippiest moment of this episode? I uh, leave a comment about it. Indeed. Oh man, he won't escape. I'm not gonna let him this time. If you wanna check out our previous episodes reactions to this series 
go ahead and hit this link. And here's a podcast where we talk about all the anime that we're watching this season. Once again, to help you recover from your flip flappers viewing experience, check out OS Gaming, our gaming channel, where we release the. Where you get to see Rizzo in a more natural state. <laughs> Playing Tales of Mysteria. And not uh, whimpering in the corner because his brain is broken. If you'd like to help support my mental treatment, <laughs> go ahead and hit this link and it'll take you over to our new and improved Patreon page. But let us know what you thought of this anime and what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But honestly, just do thumbs up because this is funny. That's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. I'm DK. I'm Zero. Help me. See you next time. time.